No saving. Yep. Good. Uh, right. Damn, okay, what some fucking sounds here? Jeez! Hey, 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 hey! Oh, that's why. Okay. Sorry, I was like wondering, it's like, wait, why did why did I press the down key and it did all that? It's like, oh, it's because I was still on OBS. Just the visuals and horror scenes will be blurred. You can change the setting. Oh, shit! Alright, never mind. Maybe you could just do, uh. Grotesque visuals and horror scenes will be blurred. Should I just. Wait, should I actually set this to less or should I keep it normal? I'm actually curious. You see, man, the jump cares for those weak arts. Change the setting to none to enjoy the story. Okay. Huh. I am actually. Is there, is there more than less than normal? No, it's just that. Asking for a friend, just those two. I'm, I'm constantly clicking it, yeah, no. You know what? Considering that I know what the first one looks like, I can do less, see what it looks like, and then we can move on from there. But we can go with that. Jump scares are present, sure. Um, or in jump scares. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Let's let's start this. Uh, uh so for context or viewers, it, it's a shirt that says, um so it's like it's like watch out, I'm about to level up when you look like just enough XP. Yep. Yeah, it's really intimidating. <laughs> Yeah, it's absolutely nasty. Tokyo is a place where I go. I guess I don't need to say it. If you know Japanese, you Going to be watching this on YouTube, might. But also, that's a sickle. Now that I actually get a good look at it. Yeah. Dear Ribbon. Oh, that's in detail. I actually did not notice. Also, that image right there. Oh god, that's one of the things I love about Deathmark is that whoever, like the artist here, knows how to draw some damn good horror. Because you don't need horror in the forefront. You can just have horror looming right behind you. So good. そうして夏も過ぎ去った頃、ある男が学園へとやってきた。果たして死人とは怪異なのか、それとも。I oh, just noticed like there's some like, wispy details over those three students there. Are those were those actually students, teachers, or their ghosts? Were they the victims? Maybe I don't know. My cat's screaming again. One second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is now where we can actually like, read, and I'm gonna just yeah. read them out loud. <clears throat> hey, tell me the rest of the story! Oh, actually, I can just do this on my controller, actually, so that you guys don't have to bother seeing my cursor. And probably be, like, taken away from it. I'll be the student on the right. Wait, give me a moment, I gotta see if I can get the controller to work here real quick. It wants to respond. Your best anime school girl? No. Oh, god damn it. When your best anime school girl voice. Alright. We got oh, god, cut god, off dude. in the middle, remember? I've been thinking about it during class ever since. Oh my god. Uh, my okay. Is it my turn next? Maybe. My. I'm good. What? Are we gonna take the shit out of this game? Oh yeah. 
Also, I can't seem to use a controller at the moment, so I'm just gonna deal with this. Like, the, the story? Like, you mean... About that, the departed thing? Yeah, oh, that one! Up. Oh yeah, this fucking image right here. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely okay. You can set it, you can see there is like actually like little wispy details, like they're like a little shifted here. So that they, no one could definitely see this, obviously. But like you can definitely tell this one is a spirit from that detail alone. Yeah. Nothing out of place here, <laughs> right? Is it really here at school? Obviously, duh. <laughs> Oh my god. The Departed turns itself into a human to kill us. <laughs> Damn, doesn't that mean we're, like, in danger? You know what, Clarissa? You know it's a Takai in 2B. <laughs> They're supposedly missing. But everyone's been saying they got killed by the Departed. Ah. Just like the notice on the bulletin board said. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me. Remember the second year who committed suicide? Do you think that the Departed killed them too? Could be. Let's go get hamburgers. Let's go get some hamburgers, don't, I don't know. Wait. That means... The Departed's the cause of all the strange things happening at school lately? That's really crazy. You know... Maybe you're their next target, Clarissa. Bitch, you just did- Hey, knock it off! You're creeping me out! If anything, it's probably gonna be you first. Cause my grades are better than yours. That's cause you're a nerd. That's not how it works. Right? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> after that, the students Let's get hamburgers. Yeah, let's get hamburgers. <laughs> let's go to the mall. Anyways. <clears throat> let's get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. Yeah. Okay, anyways. After that, students' conversation detours onto the topic of some popular TV shows. They're chatting merrily, the unpleasant subject they broached earlier cast aside. For them, a spooky story about someone's death is probably just another form of mindless entertainment. They're just rumors, after all. Also, hello, Robot. The sound of a bell rings loudly in my ears. It must be coming from the school's clock tower. The students are apparently desensitized to it, as hardly any of them react to its sounds. Or, sound. It's almost time for my appointment. After one, the departed. Isho. Isho. Oh, well, thank you. Chapter 1 departed. It's just started it. I like how that's an achievement, just starting the chapter. <laughs> <laughs> the Voice bravest. The bravest. The yep. bravest of the chat. Sweetie, you couldn't handle Outlast. <laughs> I, I actually. Kira told me that story. <laughs> you could. You could not handle Outlast. So. Yeah, I'll be honest, when I watch scary movies, like, I will actually cover my face during the scary parts. Oh, you know what? Yeah. A little fair, a little fair. But yeah. Yeah. I enter Konohara Academy through the main gate. Then I head to the appointed building on the outskirts of the school grounds. Once inside, I quickly consult the guide map at the entrance. The faculty room seems to be this way. There are some teachers left in the office. I ask one of them to call the headmaster Kanoe. Hmm. Yaddy yaddy. Oh, is this guy? And here comes like the youngest up. old man. Yeah. <laughs> this guy does like he's got the hair of an old man, but he does not have the face of an old man, if you know what I mean. The guy just got no yeah. wrinkles. Mm -hmm. 
He's a 70 year old twink, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, a, he's a 70 year old twink! He really is! <laughs> or is the horror movie would do to me is make me bored, jump at any and. Oh, jump at any and every jump scare, yeah. It's So for me, it's dependent because I, I actually don't find a lot of like things scary, but if I do find it scary, I'm just like covering my face with blankets. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that's cute. God. Ugh. <sighs> So you want to you want to read this one? Oh yeah. Um. Uh, I have food in my mouth. Yep. <laughs> Eat your food. My, my my. So you really came. Welcome to Konohara Academy. I am Seizu Konoe, headmaster of the school. I got blatant. You're you. I mean, what? I just got here. Hi. Hey, Roscoe. Mr. Konoe smiles. Decked out in a flashy suit designed to call attention to the implied amount of money it costs its owner. I spoke on the phone once before I came here, but this is our first in person interaction. Sorry for calling you here on such short notice. Um, what's your name again? I'm really old. Age's done a number on my memory. Let me introduce myself again then. Wait. Mm my name is... Oh, never mind. I thought we got it backwards, but you're right. Yeah, no, it's actually this guy. So, in the first game and in this game, you actually have the opportunity to change his name. I'm not going to change it. This time. You don't want to be cryos -Kun? I'm not going to be cryos -Kun. <laughs> Damn. Uh... Kazo Yashiki. It's a good name. Besides, like, this guy is, like, actually more of a character, so, like, ha changing his name to when he has a personality and everything is, like, eh. Yeah, versus, like, an empty shell, like, persona character. Yeah. Yush. Yush. My name is Kazo Yashiki. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Terribly sorry. I heard about you from one of our teachers, Damon. He mentioned your name when I discussed The Departed with him. You're apparently quite versed in matters of the occult. Are you an exorcist, perhaps? No, not at all. Fucking humble lying here. <laughs> this is, is like... He an exorcist? He basically is, because he's got an entire game that shows him literally doing just that. <laughs> He's literally got an entire game where he exercises, like, a several ghosts. <laughs> Are you lying to me? I just happen to stumble into strange happenings a lot more than the average person. That's it. I mean, that is true. Like, he did stumble into them, as, but he's also been looking into them so that it's like... He's like, hey, you know... He's like, this is, like, huge humbling. Yeah. Which is why I, I didn't even say humble bragging. This is like humble lying. Yeah, this is just fucking lying. So that, oh, I don't want to stand out too much. Yeah, no. I'm nothing compared to a professional. Oh, really? But you've solved supernatural cases before, have you not? Right? Calling him out? <laughs> well, yes, I have. I just got lucky. I'm telling you, I really don't have any special techniques or anything like that. Fucking fast forward to a few minutes later where he like literally tells you, Hey, you got anything on you that could like protect us? Oh hey, I got a flashlight that'll help us in the dark. Wow, that's really cool, Kaz Kazuo. It's really lucky that you were prepared for the situation, almost as if you've done this before. <laughs> like <laughs> you'll see this, you'll see this. <laughs> I don't know what to make of you. The headmaster pointedly raises his eyebrows. They don't blame him for feeling doubtful or suspicious. I got tangled up in some bizarre incidents and found myself in life or death situations several times. But that doesn't make me professional or anything. Oh well. Fortunately, I've managed to survive with some resourcefulness. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, at least he's a little bit honest with himself, but he's definitely not honest with other people. <laughs> Yeah. That's really all there is to it. I'm not some kind of subject matter expert like the headmaster wants, despite 
having gone so far as to researching spirits and their whereabouts and what they do in the first game for weeks on end. <laughs> This, dude, you do not want to play Phasmophobia with this motherfucker, all right? <laughs> yeah, You'll no, not get to play the game. He'll walk in, take a sniff of the air, and turn around and tell you which one it is. <laughs> Either he's like he's gonna be so good, and he's like, oh damn, I don't know, man. Someone else would have been able to do it better than me. <laughs> Holy shit, you made me tiny. Oh, you just noticed? I just noticed how small I am. The microfurs are screaming. <laughs> Shush. Anyways. Ah, uh, sorry. But Daemon is a trustworthy man whose opinion I respect. If he vouches for you, then I shall do my best to trust you. You're not small. Besides, I've no time to find an alternative. You're the best thing I got. <laughs> I'm gonna use this child for my own ends. Especially considering that we found a new notice this afternoon. I think Yuri Kazo is like in his like mid twenties, late twenties. Or is he in his early thirties? I forgot. I don't know. Wait, I, th he's not, I thought he was a high school student. Kazo? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, the guy we're playing is definitely not. Oh, okay. I don't know anything. He's actually him. he's actually got his own mansion because of the family that oh. he's born in. Oh, but so he's literally here with the explicit purpose that like. Do this and it's saying I'm not an expert. Oh yeah, no, like his family, um, his uh, recent family, um, like the short part of his like family tree, like his uh, immediate family and maybe like a little past that, um, they were definitely like sp like exorcists. So like it's kind of oh. in his blood, which is even more funny that he's like definitely humble lying about this. Yeah. No, I don't know what you mean. He's being fucking. It was goddamn I know. Dairy. So, is he is like Van Helsing. I wouldn't know Van Helsing in particular, so I can't say it, but I think the um, more you'll see. I think Van Helsing's more like actually down from generation to generation. Oh, kind of like, wrong. um. Kind of like. Oh, that's a tall fuck. It's like the vampire hunters. Um, yeah, the the Belmonts. The Belmonts, yeah. I think so. I've, actually, let me Google that. Sorry, you can keep going. I'm actually yeah. curious now. Sorry. Um, yeah. He pulls out a piece of paper. I take it from him. This is the Departed's notice. There are red fingerprints on it. Did it be blood? Oh, that. I've heard that's a mold, not a blood stain. I'm not familiar with mold of that hue, however. I don't think anyone is familiar with mold of that hue. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's mold. I open the letter and skim through it. Dear pianist, Hanako will kill you tonight. I'm watching, getting in the school. You, Your beloved, you the enough. departed. Hmm? You missed an opportunity to be like, Dear pianist! Oh, yeah, I could. <laughs> I'll do it next time. I'm taking notice for a pianist. That's the second notice we've that got. Oh, sorry, that was your life like that. <laughs> How did you know what I was gonna say? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my, what? second notice we've gotten. <laughs> oh my, what? Oh. <laughs> I told you about the first one during a call. It was addressed to Ribbon. That's your Oh. Oh, wait, it was me. <laughs> How'd you do? I was gonna say! <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> it was addressed to the ribbon, right? I believe so. Something seems to have happened to it. It's nowhere to be found. The previous headmaster got scolded by the cops because it gone missing. Just as the notice nope, predicted, the student named it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotcha. Get a read. <laughs> Just as the notice predicted, the student named in it vanished. And you think it was the departed's doing? No, I don't believe in ghosts and the like. I assume the kids have simply gone missing, but. But quite a lot of people. Wait, but quite a lot of people believe it was the departed's doing. Okay, Kono is me, I need to remember to read the names. Yep. 
I was reminded of the conversation I overheard at the front gate. Rumors about the departed seem to be spreading among students. And that's why I called you. Even our most anxious people should be relieved when they see that we have an expert looking into the situation. Can I just say, this guy is ex way too calm about the situation, because the alternative to it not being a ghost is it being a serial killer. Oh, right. And that's supposed to calm especially, people down. Especially when <laughs> students are missing here, he's like, yeah, it's like mm, maybe it yeah, could be a spirit thing, maybe we'll get one guy to look into it. <laughs> They're like, we're gonna get this one guy to look into it, because I want you to tell the students it's not a ghost, it's a fucking serial killer. Oh yeah, no. Either it could so be a serial down. killer, or uh, the kids just went missing because uh, they got sick, or they're just playing a prank. Yep, that's totally it. Like They're playing a prank. They're just trying to skip school. Kids are so lazy these days. Back in my generation, Back uh, in my generation, four times as much as you, and then uh, that was harder somehow. <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> I'd love to hear his testimony when he gets on trial. <laughs> oh yeah, no, for being a bad fucking headmaster. Yeah. Anyways, once again, I must remind you that I'm not an expert. We'll play the part then. Investigate the school tonight and inform the student there's no such thing as the departed. That should be enough to assuage the fears of the superstitious folks. I said, I said that work. Is that, 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 work, is that right? how you pronounce that? I just I've never pronounced that word as, in my life. I, th I, I thought it was ever. assuage. Yeah. I don't know. Assuage. Sounds like you're being paid an ass for me. <laughs> oh, it is assuage. Assuage. Okay. Assuage. Ass yeah. Assuage. So it's not assuage. It's assuage. <laughs> assuage. I know. Like I know. For anyone who's going to be watching this on YouTube. Um. Anyways. You're gonna all be like, man, these guys are really taking the shit out of this game. Why did you get into the meat of it? Well, be patient. You can also fast forward this. Everyone on stream can't, so you're gonna have to be a little patient. Um, <laughs> for the people on stream. We're saying ass wage now. Ass wage? Yeah, ass wage. No, we're saying ass wage. But, um. That should be enough ass wage, the fears of the best superstitious stuff. <laughs> Sounds is a valid <laughs> option. We'll we'll get to it. We're gonna take it seriously once we get into it. He may claim the departed doesn't exist, but we won't know the truth of the matter until we investigate. I'll go along with him for tonight and see what I can find. The headmaster and I wait until night. So I just wanted to ask when I was reading this uh, the first time, I was like, "What the fuck are you doing waiting here until night? Like, are, what are you doing as you're waiting? Are you just sitting here in like the fucking teachers' lounge or whatever? Oh, they're on their phones. What do you mean? <laughs> on their phones? They're just, on their phones. They have games on their phones. They're just like showing some funny fucking music. Like, ha, look at this. Like, they got webtoons open, dude. They're catching up on fucking Coco I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got webtoons open. Anyways. Have you seen the strongest florist? Some time has passed since the sunset. Also, damn the music though. Yeah, that's pretty good. Immediately Shouldn't tense. The headmaster and I are the only ones left. A student or teacher in sight. I like how, like in sight is should be like in parentheses here. <laughs> like you'll see that this is not the case in the moment. Anyways, let me see this. So let me get this right. Multiple students were missing, and instead of calling the police and shutting down the school, you called for a paranormal investigator on the off chance they were just kidnapped by a ghost. <laughs> yeah. like, flips hair, I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> We've waited long enough, let's look around. Why is someone angry there? School at night's a rare privilege, eh? Enjoy it while you can, Yachiki. There's like two implications by that line there. <laughs> We leave the faculty room and begin searching for the special building. We visit the infirmary, library, and still the council room. But we don't find anything unusual. It's unseasonably cold, no? Autumn is barely even upon us. If I'd had known it'd be like this, I would have dressed up more warmly. How... How more warmly can you be? You got like an undershirt, you have a shirt, and then you have a jacket. How more underdress? Like how underdress? Like ah, sorry. Another jacket. Another jacket. Another jacket. And one of those those things you wear in your head in the winter. 
the winter hat. You mean a beanie? Those beanies? I don't the one thing I wore when I visited you. <laughs> that was beanie. Beanie, yes. That. Yeah. So why is the headmaster patrolling the school anyway? You could have had one of the younger teachers handle it. Really now, think about it. Do you think I could request that a teacher work overtime to search for ghosts? Nonsense. Then why'd you hire me? I don't believe in ghosts. And since I've only recently been installed as headmaster, I can't exactly... Oh, it's another word I want to say. Kahul? Control. Anyone into the... Control? Control. Anyone's doing the job. My... Spanish. Anyways. I'm left with no choice but to push my old bones and see to it myself. Kahul, eh? It's Kajol, okay. Yeah, no, it's Kajol. Kajol. I can't just Kajol. <laughs> anyone. Shut the fuck up. We're taking this shit so hard, I'm sorry. Kajol. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> he heaves a big sigh. I guess ah. being the newcomer at school always has drawbacks, even for a headmaster. Anyways, let's go to the next new building next. Follow me, Yashiki. <laughs> Follow me, Yashiki! <laughs> like, God! Follow me, Yashiki. Uh, sorry. Uh, leaving this special building, we walk through the corridor and head to the new building. I'm trying my best to take this seriously, but there, it's... I'm in too much I'm, of a good I'm mood. Here. I'm in... Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> the moment <laughs> I have another person in here with me, like, suspense and all that shit just goes out the window. I think it's okay to enjoy the game in a different way it was intended to be enjoyed, to be fair. Yeah. Let's investigate the first floor of the new building. So, I'm going to explain this real quick. I know anyone who was like, watching Manly, uh, Manly Badass Hero uh, also saw this. Uh, he would like, go explain like uh, how the game, the first game, was actually different to this one. I'll say it here real quick as well. Um, so, in the first game, a lot of it was all in just first-person uh, a first-person uh, perspective. This one now takes on a more side-scrolling view, but there will be first-person uh, as well when you're like investigating particular spots. And I'll I'll just, that'll just be it for now, really. So is, you said the line already, or? Oh, uh, no. Let's investigate the first floor of the new building. It's new and has cracks on the ceiling. We usually lock the classrooms, but I've requested the room unlock just for tonight. Inspect the rooms as you need, and I will leave the expert to do his work. You're really pushing this expert thing. As if... <laughs> ah! You are kind of an expert, whether you like it or not. Like, you, like you've gone through life-or-death situations with resourcefulness you are at least experienced anyways denying it is getting annoying and seeing that it's not having any effect i decided to simply ignore it now see this is why i wanted to give the guy his own like his original name because he does actually have a personality yeah too. shall we begin the investigation let's start with the first year classrooms movement for some reason, I still can't really use the controller at the moment, so keyboard it is. Use directional buttons or L stick to move around. Press B to run. Interacting with doors and objects. When you approach doors, stairs in the end of the path, arrow symbols will appear. Press the directional buttons in the direction of the arrows to or in the direction of the arrow to move to a new area. Operation assistance. The event log can also be accessed by pressing start. You start when you can't press RT or press the wrong button. Okay, can I actually... Oh, I can use the control. Really? Now I can use the controller? Okay. You've been given permission. I've been given permission. Okay. So I will do... Well, you've... I'm a party member. Sorry, what? Yeah, you're a party member. Yeah. So the movement controls are 50 minutes. My old magic. It's 50? Oh my god, it was actually 50 minutes in. Holy shit. Well, granted, there was like a long, there was like a lengthy intro to this, so it'll be all cut down on YouTube for sure. Anyways, um, quick explanation. So in the first game, um, the developer wanted to make this a bit more of an RPG by sh uh, using the stats here on the top right as like part of like how the characters really do things. 
but he couldn't really get the stats to really work, so he just had them there for flavor. But in this game, they actually do matter. And as such, Yashiki's uh, stats here are fairly average, you can see. But when we move over to Seizo Kanoe, you can Holy actually find shit. out that <laughs> Seizo put his stats in other places. <laughs> Dude, Seizo's a fucking ninja. What the hell? He's like yeah. 70 years old, and he's just like... Yeah, no, he's a 70-year-old twig. <laughs> like... He's fucking... Yeah, he's a... He's a goddamn rogue. He really do be like he's a, a rogue. He's a swashbuckler rogue, yeah. Yeah. So, one thing to keep in mind is that there is levels and also HP. You can lose HP in this game. Dude, fucking Konoe rolled his stats and Kazuo has standard array. <laughs> Kazuo does have standard array. <laughs> Anyways, uh, going through this real quick. I noticed from the departed that arrived at school, there are red spots resembling handprints on it that are apparently mold. Details confirmation required. Given by Saizo Kanoe, weight 1G. I like how it mentions 1G as if the weight really matters. Dear pianist, Hanako will kill you tonight. I am watching, hiding in the school. Your beloved, the departed. Thankfully, I was able to go work with that voice without killing it. Now you have to do the entire rest of the stream like that. No, I'm kidding. Favorite bag, Yashiki's favorite item. A large branded leather shoulder bag made in Europe can hold a plethora of items. Oh my god, it's like... Well, actually, no, this one's I leather. Um, I actually got a bag from uh, from Europe, too. Specifically, Poland. Thank you, hun. <laughs> Effect. Plus 1% to execution rate in suspensive axe gift from sister. Yeah. Remember, I got that uh, got that one bag when I was in Poland. It was a really nice bag. I still have it, of course, but like it's, it's so nice. Yeah. Ah, Kanoe's favorite item: a tie pin made of pure silver with a clear crystal attached to the base. The quartz is rumored to have protective powers. Effect plus two spiritual power. Purchased from secondhand dealer coins. <laughs> So clearly, Seizo doesn't believe in ghosts, but he's also superstitious as fuck. That dude knows jutsus. Yeah. Is there a... Uh... Oh, it doesn't show his name. Anyways. It's... Hmm? The, uh, old, the guy is Kuzo or whatever. Um, Kuzo? He, he looks like... Yeah, like as amazing as all of this art is, it's fucking 10 out of 10. It looks like, I can't tell if the artist just like doesn't know how to draw older people, you know what I mean? Or like doesn't want to make them like look older. Um, you know what I mean? No, in the first game, I don't know if it's the same artist from the first game, but uh, they've definitely drawn old people before. Okay, so it's the, just, it's just in the heavily stylized. Yeah, this is just stylized for sure. Okay, okay. In the first, like, you can definitely tell the difference between the first art style and this, in this game's art style. And I don't actually, like, it's so much of a difference that I don't know if it's the same artist. So, I could be totally wrong, and it's totally two different artists. Does Amber pro protect from ghosts? Um, I don't know, actually. But Amber, uh, it was a really nice wristband. I still have it. A man who came to Konohara Academy after receiving a request to investigate the departed. Wait, why is the T capitalized here? He's actually Masamune Kojo, head of the famous Kojo family, but now goes by an alias. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. So this was like revealed in the first game. Apparently it's a healing stone. Hey, nice. After a Reduct bizarre... Jaundice. Sorry, go ahead. After a bizarre case a few months ago, he was dubbed by an occult magazine, The Spirit Doctor. Like, the spirit- like, he even got dubbed by this too, and he comes from a family of, like, like, of spirit doctors, basically. So, like, this guy is humble lying on his ass. Yeah, <laughs> But yeah, no, and then, like, this also says the aged headmaster of Konohara Academy. Soon after his appointment, 
Rumors about the departed ran wild, forcing him to take action, but he asked the protagonist to investigate. He's witty, well-educated, well-connected, and quite well-off. But, like, again, he, this guy's aged, but he looks like a seven-year-old twig. He's, he's got health. Anyways. Yeah. Rumors of the Departed. The arrival of a death notice sent by a mysterious entity, the Departed, has Konohara Academy in a commotion. The notice denotes a murderer and their target. Since the murderer's name is Hanako, it leads the students to believe it's the spirit of the urban legend, Hanako of the Toilet. After the notices arrived, some students actually went missing. The police could not intervene due to lack of any obvious crime. What do you mean, obvious crime? They're missing! Anyways, however, as the rumors took a toll on students, I was hired to conduct an investigation. I have to determine if this is the work of spirits or merely a prank. Oh, uh, maybe the- okay, maybe it is, like, the police actually- like, no, it might, might actually make sense. Because they're probably seeing this as a menial thing. Like, thinking, like, oh, no, the kids could could be elsewhere. Like, I was joking earlier, like, oh, yeah, no, this could be a prank, or they're just gone sick or something and just didn't tell anyone. Like, this could all be a misunderstanding, which is probably why they're not investigating this. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also, like, damn. Outfit change. Alternate clothing? Nothing you're gonna change will not... Change alternate what? Oh, dang! Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Oh, I fly. like that. I think I'll keep that. That's actually pretty neat. Anyways, uh, actually, did I make sure that I got everything? Yeah, I think we're good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Darkness is spread outside the window. My eyes are slowly acclimating to the darkness. I start to vaguely distinguish trees standing nearby. Also, like the animations of like it's these characters eyes. moving. Walk into my eyes. Mwah. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Yep. <laughs> hey! A child. Hey! What are you doing here? Why are you doing here, student? I see a girl dressed in the school uniform. What's this student still doing here? Strange. You'll encounter glimmering spots when moving. These are investigation points. Press A to expect. The investigation point is a person. Conversation will start. Uh, who are you? Oh, don't worry. I'm not breaking in. The headmaster's right here behind in. me. Uh, looks like she's less tense now. Does not manage to reassure her. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, you're also kind of breaking in here. Like, you weren't intended to be here. No one told you that you could be here at night. Anyways. Sounds is a valid option. Gee. She has a mark on her left cheek. A mysterious mark that looks like a pattern. Is it natural? Um, you stop staring at me like that? Oh, sorry about that. Aren't you from the student council? Yes, my name is Himiko Doryu. School grounds are closed. What are you doing here? Sounds is a valid option. Doryu falls silent after the headmaster confronts her. Seems like she has got a reason, but she's hesitant to talk. Let's see what information I can learn from Himiko Doryu. Uh, actually, I'm looking for Izumi. I can't find him anywhere. Who's Izumi? Persona. Toshihiko Izumi from Student Council. He's the Emperor Arcana. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Notes made on the subject Toshihiko Izumi. Bring topics. You'll discover topics of conversation during the course of an investigation. 
That way you'll have more things to ask when conversing with people. Choosing this option will allow you to ask about the topics you have obtained. Everyone's talking about it. The departed's running around the school, they're issuing death notices, or the person that named in the notice is killed by Hanako. Do you believe those rumors? Yes, because someone was actually killed. Ahem. Would you mind correcting what you just said, Doryu? No one is dead. They simply ran away from hope. Silence is a valid option. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the notice, isn't it? They all say Hanako's true identity is Hanako of the Toilet. That name sounds familiar. Is it the name of the female spirit? Hanako of the Toilet is the spirit of a girl with bobbed hair and a red skirt. She usually appears in the school restrooms. Well, she is Hanako of the Toilet for a reason. Do you know anything else? Um, I don't know much more than that. I try not to pay too much attention to it, since this kind of stuff really freaks me out. Her body's shaking. I must be terrified. Can't say that comes as a surprise. Yuzumi left the school uh, student council room and didn't return even after school closed. So the vice president is searching for him now. We'd like to run the new building in the special building, but we can't find him anywhere. Did you mention this to the teacher? No. I thought we'd find him quickly. And now that the school is closed, it'd be even harder to tell them. Do you have any clues? Like the last thing he said to you, or anything like that? Now this is a valid option. Or you steals a glance at me, seemingly hesitant to answer the question. You may not believe it. He looked pale before he left. And then he said, The departed is calling me. Come again. None the fuck. Nani the fuck is Nani saying? the fuck. That's all. Yeah, that's all, that's it. Uh. I know. I know. Dory has given up trying to mask her emotions and she looks straight at us. I don't know who you are, but you better give up. Give up on what? I'm gonna be the target. The Departed? If you get curious about the Departed's true identity, you'll become their target. That's what they say. He seems to adamantly believe the Departed exists. Let me see why the Headmaster was worried about trying to calm the students down. He didn't want more of them ending up like this. You should just go home, Doryu. We'll look for ease with me. Uh, understood. I'll, I'll keep going then. Posture check? Yeah, my check's postured. <laughs> Run that by me again, Kier. Yeah, my check's postured. Good. Things are getting more complicated. Hmm. <laughs> Let's torture Izumi first and serve the master or something for the departed later. You wanna run that by me again? No, I actually don't. <laughs> no, I did it on purpose. Which reminds me, you're not familiar with this school yet. Just ask me if you're unsure where to go. <laughs> you're right. Party chat. Oh my god, party chat. You can speak with your party members by pressing X. Talking with the members of your party may yield new clues. Character Himiko Doryu has been added to the character file. The character file will be updated as you proceed with the investigation. You can check the notes in the character file from the menu screen. It's all through this it I'm gonna keep that in. Did you get John <laughs> I got jump scared by Monty's good looks. Monty? Yeah. Anyways, uh, consulting this information will help you out during the course of the investigation. Character file is also accessible in the gallery. On the title screen, choose gallery characters. Let's Let's go find Izumi first, Yashiki. 
Doru said she already looked around the entirety of the new building. Just making sure that I have more coffee. She's a stand-up student. I doubt she thought to search the area where boys would be forbidden to enter. Ooh. Oh, wait, shit. That was actually something to look at. Uh. Mm -hmm. There's a sturdy, well-made lectern and podium for teachers here. I can imagine a teacher standing here and lecturing their parents, or their parents, students. Lecturing their parents. <laughs> Oh, uh, goodness. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. The desks are lined up perfectly. Just that sight alone is all you need to get a feel for the school's prestige. Hmm. Hmm. There's a large bulletin board here. This is where the first notice was posted. When I moved the papers around, I found a stab wound on the board. It looked like it was made with a knife. It was clearly a sickle. Looking closely at it, I could see some faint red marks. I wouldn't have called you if there wasn't a notice. I was just staring at this man. I'm sorry. I wouldn't <laughs> have called you if there wasn't a notice here. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, that's a log. Uh, yeah, what was it? Yeah. Run again? Yeah, here's run. Oh my god, those noises when they run, holy hell. Right. I just wanted to shut that off real quick. It's the main entrance of the new building. The school gate is right ahead. Two lockers for the students are placed near the entrance. <laughs> Notices for students are posted on the bulletin board. Students, please avoid loitering at the school. Head home as soon as classes are over. It's an inevitable measure considering all the strange incidents that have occurred. Did I just hear meow? Yeah, my cat's meowing. Oh, meow. Because people are asleep, so I have to keep the door closed. But she doesn't like that. And if I open the door, she just stares at me. <laughs> she just wants the door open. She doesn't leave. <laughs> meow! So, open the door! Yeah, no, so she's just meowing at me. But I'm not opening the door because I won't wake people up. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! As nerve wracking as it is, this is a necessary precautionary measure. People are sleeping. No, I'm kidding. No, Jimmy. Oh, goddamn. Let's go. No, sorry, I. <laughs> I already <laughs> said I just accidentally. Like, Press X again. Anyways. This is the female restroom, a place forbidden to men and boys. Hmm. Considering Dory's personality, I doubt she'd even consider looking for a boy in here. She may not have searched here, but... Would it not be inappropriate for us to enter this place? It is a sacred place. I have a story about accidentally entering a girl's bathroom. Oh, yeah. So, I uh, was new to this school, and I was, like, half awake, Basically. and I turned the corner, and, and uh, lo and behold, I walked into the bathroom, yeah. and immediately realized it was, like, it was, you know, I was in the wrong place. But these girls that, like, were in there, like, I immediately... Like, so I hadn't been to the school that long, but I knew that they were the type that, like, they were going to do everything they could to, like, try to get me in trouble for, like, accidentally. Well, they were going to make a huge deal of it, essentially. Right. Um, which I was just at the entrance. So I, like, turned around. I booked it. I ran for my life. And they, they I had, like, a horde of girls chasing me. Oh, my fucking God. I, I had my jacket on. I turned the corner, took my jacket up took my jacket off, rolled it up, and, like, held it against my chest, and just walked, like, normal. Mm -hmm. And they all ran past me. Clever. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's actually pretty slick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was about to fucking save my own life. <laughs> Holy shit, that was clever as shit. Yeah. <laughs> For me, mine was way less, like, 
thematic and everything. I just like accidentally stepped in. Uh, there was like one girl who was like washing her hands. We just like looked at each other, and I was like, "Oh wait, shit! I'm not supposed to be here." And I turned around. That was it. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was, was it. <laughs> yeah, nothing no, came of the, it. These, these are the types of girls they were gonna like. They were screaming. They were gonna freak out and act like I was like you know trying to be a pervert or something. When I obviously just fucking walked into the wrong bathroom because it was like my third day at that school. Right, and there's like no doors. It's like a door. Like there's no. It's just a doorway that you just walk through, right? Yeah, exactly. Like yeah, it was like, like and they're yeah. probably like right next to each other too. Like the, the well, boys. I think and... it was it was it was actually the opposite. So it was you know my sense of direction here. Like it was, Oh yeah, okay, fair. Yeah. It's I, even like, worse you, like, for you. Turn, yeah. You turn one corner for one and turn another corner for the other. It was essentially Yeah. How it went. So it was like, oh turn the wrong corner. Yeah, for me the in that situation the two bathrooms like were right next to each other, just like this one. But, like, if I remember right, the women's was actually on the right, and the men's was on the left. And, like, I, I just took, like, the closest corner when I was going in, and I just, like, yeah. accidentally stepped in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, just like what I said earlier, like, they had no doors. They could just walk in. They just, mm -hmm. like, they had, like, the turnaround uh, hallway bit, you know? Yeah. But anyways... Well, you're not wrong. But this is an emergency. We need to investigate here as well. No one will find out if we keep it between us. <laughs> Except the fucking horde of people that are going to chase you down, apparently. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, sudden, the lights go out. Nani? Wait, hold on. All of a sudden? All of a sudden. As English. if somebody's trying to prevent us from entering this place. No way. Is there something lurking here? What's that sawing noise? Oh, goodness. Did it go out again? The headmaster responds nonchalantly. The electricity's been acting up lately. It's not the first time this has happened. I've tried to get it fixed, but it's not easy to book an appointment with a repairman these days. This is. Anyway, you needn't trouble yourself. There's nothing mystical about it. We're not being haunted or whatever you call it in your work. What about this ambiance thing? Can you explain that? It's called ambiance. No, ambiance. Still though, it's hard to see in the dark. Hold on a sec. Hold. Hold. I open my bag and take out my flashlight. See, look at this! I got this. Someone's well prepared, eh? Like? <laughs> Investigating in the dark is something a spirit hunter like yourself would be skilled at. Like? <laughs> bit late to play a skeptic, Seizo? Yeah. Use your trusty flashlight when investigating in the dark. You discover an investigation point in the area illuminated by a flashlight, you can inspect it with A. Um, so one thing that this game likes to do, or at least the first game liked to do, was that if you, um, used your flashlight to look around, you would actually illuminate portions of the area, but you wouldn't just do that, you would actually illuminate, like, horror bits, like, say if I were to, like, put my flashlight on that toilet there, there was a chance that there was, like, a spooky face there oh, that you wouldn't see without the flashlight. And then it would just be like a little, whoo, and they leave, you know. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. You can faintly see a pale reflection of my face in the mirror. I can see Mario. You put the flash and you see fucking Mario. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just disappears. Are you tired? You look dead inside. <laughs> Goddamn boomers. <laughs> Yeah, like, right here. Like, first-person investigation. Some investigations are conducted in first-person perspective. Move the cursor around with the directional buttons or else stick and press A to investigate the point. To exit first-person, press B. So, like, a bit of, like, the horror bit would be, like, there would be, like, some face or maybe, like, a hand right over here. Or, like, something, you know. Like, you can definitely tell, like, there's, like, two layers here. Where um, there would be like the, the unilluminated and the illuminated, where there'd be like, ooh, you know. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see like there's like some interesting details that you see like there's like an interesting shading on the toilet that you like right underneath but if i put my light on it there's like hardly any shading there which is mm -hmm. why i think that this picture itself has two versions of it one that's illuminated and then one that's not rather than that's... Hmm? yeah that's that would be the easiest way to do it yeah I know. <clears throat> no you're fine the toilet bowl is spotless no dirt at all I feel uneasy about peering inside toilet bowls, even though I have to. The child could be hiding in there. The child could be hiding in the toilet bowl. For some reason. Zuby, are you in here? No. Apparently, you got, you, might, you might have got flushed. I, already, I just heard some flushing hmm. earlier. The toilet bowl is spotless. No dirt at all. I like how the toilets were said to be spotless, but then you like see like the stalls themselves, and it's like, damn, apparently a rusty. new, yeah, new got new got rusty. Ooh, cuckoo, cuckoo, it's a mark. Spotless, cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. A red marker is lying on the floor. Uh oh, what's that? Have you noticed the writing on the, I did it again. Have you noticed the writing on the wall? I bet this is what they used to write it. Can't believe they left the evidence after scribbling on the wall. They're gonna damage a school's reputation. Mr. Kunoi, mind if I keep this marker? You wanna keep it? Yeah. It might be related to it's our investigation. On the bathroom floor, but okay. <laughs> right? This is nothing but a rule of thumb, but. Usually, when items are found at a spirit's hideout, they're tied to that spirit. Even a seemingly ordinary marker like this can be a clue. Fine. Do what you want. That's disgusting. Wash your hands. Investigating spirits sure is troublesome work, eh? You even have to, uh, pick markers up off of the bathroom floor. <laughs> like this. That's actually that fucking grosses me out. Oh yeah, no. Do you- you would be surprised to see, like, in the first game, he would do like that same like that he would carry out that same ide ideology where um he's like oh look at this like funny little thing like um this doorknob this doorknob will probably help me figure out how to solve this uh mystery case yeah and it actually like like what ends was up it? doing so it ends up doing so but there's like there's there would be some items that wouldn't help but this marker easily oh of course See that the cool. writings. Cool. On close inspection, I noticed that there are traces of something scribbled on the wall. Should be able to make out some of it. Disgusting, annoying, just die already. Damn girl. Well, I can't read the name. Someone's obviously being badmouthed pretty harshly. Sorry, that was me. Oh, what the hell? Damn, who turned on the UV? <laughs> Just then, the toilet suddenly flushed. Say, has the toilet been acting weird, too? No, I've not heard any such reports. You probably just accidentally touched the... From I was investigating the wall. How did I touch the flushing? You know. With your tail. What tail? You're a furry. <laughs> <laughs> Kazo Yashiki, a bird. Anyways, uh, sounds oh, is a valid yeah, option. Oh yeah, no, he'd be a fucking raven, dude. While the water was flowing, I heard a voice. The voice of a girl saying, "Give it back." And it felt like I had energy drained from my body. Oh, no, we're not, my. Make, See, not making, not making that joke. Shut up! We're not making that joke here. <laughs> the joke's making itself here. I'm just here. <laughs> there was no joke to be made. If we just had to not say it. Okay. Okay, anyways, I don't think I just managed that. Would've. Did the spirit just contact me? Spirit and damage. <laughs> Various mishaps may harm characters mentally and physically during investigations or battle. Yashiki and his party members can take spirit damage during these times. If you run out of spirit, the investigation will come to an end, or worse, you'll die. 
Keep an eye on how much spirit you have and make sure not to let it reach zero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was wondering if I could, like, repeat it. Don't you think we've investigated enough here? I feel really uncomfortable. Let's just get out of here. Yeah. Uh. Fuck it. <sighs> I knew the fuck. The sound of a piano reverberates through the building. Hmm. Silence is an option. I didn't hear anything. It must be your imagination. It's the music room. Hmm. Hmm. Um. It's, uh, right ahead. It's gotta take a leak. Pretty well. Pretty well. See a reflection of my face in the mirror. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Damn, that's some really. Oh, wait, no, that's just a cover. I thought that was like the toilet paper itself, and I was like, damn, that's a reflective toilet paper. <laughs> Didn't know you wiped your ass with chrome. Don't you like looking at yourself in the toilet paper before you wipe? Right. <laughs> oh my god, that, that, that gave me an image. Alright, anyways, the urinal appears to be clean with no visible stains. It's really clean. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the stalls are not. This door is not. The walls are cracked. I'm sorry, I'm just taking the shit out of this game real quick, sorry. The 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 principal would be a peacock, I think. He'd also be a bird. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I think I need some coffee again. Sheesh. I enter the he music room and scan the place. Hmm? I'm oh, sorry, Katie just started fucking flying across my room, banging uh -huh. into walls and shit. She's really dumb, kind of fat. Is she Mario jumping around the place? Yeah, no, she's just, like fucking anime zipping and then smashing in the walls occasionally. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. And she hurts me talking about her, so she stopped to yell at me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It better not be me! Alright, <laughs> 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 anyways. However, no one's here. See, nobody's here. You really are just imagining things. There's no way you heard the piano. I did these days. I did say I heard the piano. Next time, first you're saying you heard the piano. Next thing you're gonna want a fucking living wage. Spoiled brat. <laughs> Damn. We finally reached reached a logical conclusion. Ha ha. Dude, the, like as I was saying earlier, this guy's just like um, he's superstitious as. Uh, he's just like not wanting to show it. His triumphant yeah. voice like, goes off the walls in the empty room. Uh -huh. Is there uh -huh. really no one here? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Better check the place out to be sure. Yush. Yush. There are portraits of famous musicians on the wall. Some smiling, some frowning. I'm sorry. Actually, hold up. Did, am I seeing George Washington on that? Second to the right image there. That is George Washington. The fuck? The Founding that's Fathers rapper purchased... and artist. <laughs> yeah, no, apparently. That, that's his rap name is The Founding Father. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, uh wanna read this? Those are <laughs> sorry. Oh, their eyes don't move no matter how long you stare at them. I wasn't saying that, but okay. He's a, he's a boomer, he just owns things. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what, what are these actual images of? That's George Washington. I think these are actually just the Founding Fathers. That actually might be true, yeah. Yeah. That's actually I think I recognize funny. the guy. Yeah. <sighs> Yo, that was actually kind of cool. <sighs> cool, cool. Also, damn you, I want to yawn out too. Fuck. Ah! 
That's a fucking NPC made all three made both of us young. So Warren had to leave. Um he's gonna do some things on his own. Um and yeah, that'd be fine. He is he is gonna do some things uh, before uh, some of his housemates are coming. So yeah. Did this thing really make a sound just now? Let's take a closer look. Detailed investigation. When inspecting an investigation point, you may be able to conduct a detailed investigation. Doing so will allow you to inspect it more thoroughly and use items. There are times when you can even use special actions. Uh, inspect a vintage piano fitting for a school with such a long history. Its elegant appearance with a muted polish really makes it the centerpiece of this room. The lid is open. Should be able to play the piano then. I reach my fingers for toward the piano keys. Shiki. I thought my heart was going to stop. Ugh. My word. Sorry about that. It isn't just the headmaster. I'm feeling ill after playing the piano as well. Suddenly, Orchard falls at the other end of the room. It's too much to be a coincidence. Maybe a spiritual phenomenon. I should examine further. Yoshi. The portrait hanging on the wall has fallen. It was right after I played the piano. What unusual timing. It's not a coincidence. What's going on here? There's a poster on the floor. It must have come from unglued or it must have come unglued from the nearby bulletin board. Curious, I pick it up. Attention, brass band club members. Notice of change of lead. We'd like to inform you that the pianist for the recital of our school song at the upcoming ceremony has been changed. Previous, Hanako Akai from 2B. New is Toshihiko Izumi from 2C. Uh, Hanako Zai? Or Kai? Ah, Zai Wap. Akai. Wait a fucking minute. Hanako Red? Hanako Red? That's her. That's that's just her last name, Akai. In it, right? Akai. Yeah, like blue is how. Where is Akai? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. If the departed's notice is real, then Azumi may be the target. Slow down, Yushiki. You have some rationale for that claim, correct? Izumi is the brass band, Izumi is the Izumi is pianist. It's written in the notice, they'll kill the pianist. Izumi is a pianist. That's just a coincidence. The Departed doesn't exist. Izumi, a pianist, has been worried about the Departed, and now he's disappeared the same day that the notice arrived. Do you really think this is all a coincidence? Ugh. The headmaster abruptly starts coughing. His face is drenched in sweat. He's so pale he looks like he could collapse at any moment. Are you alright? The horror of it. I can barely breathe. My heart is racing. I forget Brandy. I just want to drink some water and calm down. Sorry, but can you let me rest if you've heard me for a spell? The infirmary is, a special, it is in the special building. Guess we better go there. You can check the description of an item by selecting item from the menu screen. Try to read the description of any item that has the word details on it. Let's uh, find the change. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's it. Alright. Oh, wait, there was actually something else I could just check here. Kukuo. Kukuo? 
Notices regarding school events at the Brass Band Club are posted on the board. It smells kind of moldy. Is it just because the papers have been posted here for a long time? It's starting to see that the game is like really showing itself. It's like, oh yeah, this is the new building, but like it really is showing its age already. I don't know how much you can say, like, how new is this building for it to have, like, mold and stuff like that? Spooky times. Spooky times, indeed. Thank you for the uh, sub. The Prime Gaming sub, too, by the way. Thank you, Tiger. Tiger poster. We leave the new building and go back to the special building. Once there, we head to the infirmary. The infirmary looks the same as one you'd find at any school. It's a great place to get a drink of water and lie down for a break. Let's talk for, to the headmaster for in a bit. I want to record my progress first. Infirmary. Your spirit will automatically recover when you go back to the infirmary. You can obtain a lot of information by conversing with others. Don't forget to save the game using save when they're ready to stop playing. Uh, I'm just going to make sure to save here real quick. Finally, break time. Sorry for troubling you. What do you want to ask? Oh my, I'm absolutely shattered right now. Would have thought I'd need to deal with this sort of thing so soon after I was appointed. When did you get here? Just a few days ago. I was supposed to be installed here next year, but it happened early on account of the previous headmaster's collapse. I've told you all I know. Or to put an end to this whole departed situation as soon as possible. My students are react to spiritual nonsense, rumors of the supernatural with no basis in reality. You're talking about Doryu. She's one of them, better than others, though. Some even skip class because they believe they are maybe targeted. I want to clear this rubbish from their minds and focus on their schoolwork. That's the spirit referred to in the notice, right? I don't believe in such a being exists in my school. Assuming the rumors are true, Hanako must refer to the tale of Hanako the Toilet. And if you believe what the notice said, I have a feeling that this Hanako is being used by the Departed to attack the students. This whole thing is getting beyond absurd. The spirit is making another spirit attack people? Are we in a fantasy world or something? <laughs> Sorry, I was hearing a sound outside of the game. I wonder where Izumi is. Based on Doria's statement, I doubt he's in the special building or the new building. Is there anywhere else? Let's see. The old building, I suppose. That place is basically abandoned, though, and nobody'd have a reason to sneak in there at night. Is it locked? At night, yes. During the days, it's open because it's been repurposed as a storeroom. Though, if it were my choice to make, I'd rather keep it locked during daytime as well. Given recent events. Oops. He pauses, looking like he's accidentally let something slip. What happened in the old building? No comment. It doesn't have anything to do with this. Can you please just pay that no mind? It's a sensitive topic. Silence is a valid option. Let's get going. Oh, let's get going. I'm worried about Izumi. Where should we explore next, Yashiki? Yashi You're not going to say the old building, are you? That's exactly what I was going to say. Actually, where else would you suggest? Oh, come on. It's locked. There's no way Izumi's in there. There's no point in going in there. I don't intend to snoop, but I need to be sure he's not in there. You're one stubborn fellow. Fine. 
This amateur shall yield to the opinion of the expert. Where do we go from here? The door in front of the music room leads to the corridor. Just straight ahead from there and you'll reach the old building. Alright. So now we do that. By the way, Yashiki. Do you have any weapons? Weapons. If we're dealing with spirits here, you must have some kind of talisman or holy water, right? Exorcists do usually carry those sort of things. But I'm not an exorcist, so I don't have them. What an unreliable man. Ugh, fine. I'll give you this. The headmaster pulls out a small knife from a leather sheath. It's an antique silver knife with peonies decorating the grip. It looks like a valuable antique, though the blade is thin and doesn't seem like it'd be useful fight. My grandfather founded this school, and this knife is part of his collection. I heard it's supposed to be a talisman. Who knows? Maybe it'll work against spirits. You're pretty well prepared for someone who doesn't believe in the supernatural. That's just my personality. I don't believe, but there's no harm in being prepared just in case. Please take it with you. Contained with Noah's knife. Treat it with care, right? It's a memento I received from my grandfather. A decorated small knife belonging to Saizo Kunoi. The handle is covered with carvings of peonies, while the blade is made of old silver. Alright. This should be the corridor that connects the two buildings. The surrounding area is, sh is shrouded in darkness. Can't see clearly. There are no lights in either this corridor nor the old building due to the electrical issue. I procrastinated on getting it fixed because it wasn't causing any harm, but I regret that now. Shrugs. This investigation will rely heavily on your flashlight. You know, you could also just get yourself a flashlight. In the corridor, there's a path that leads outside. The back path leads to the sports field and clock tower, and the front path connects to the courtyard. Someone is standing at the end of the corridor. Fuck! Shit! My head is killing me! Staying there is a male student. He holds his head in pain while spitting curses. Are you Izumi? Huh? He responds and turns to us. Then he nods. Are you alright? Shall we take you to the infirmary? Just leave me alone! He groans painfully before sinking into silence. Looks like he finds it hard to even speak. I can't leave him alone. What should I do? Uh, that's gonna... The student council president of you is looking for you. She's really worried. Silence is a valid option. What happened? What are you doing in school at this time of night? Silence is a valid option. Apparently you told Doryu the Departed is calling you. Did you just say the Departed? Yeah, I know about them. <laughs> yeah, that's a disturbing laugh. His squeaky voice not sounding even remotely normal. You see, the Departed is hiding out in our school to find this one. Or find the one. They disguise themselves as human, and you can't even tell they're not human. Enough with the jokes. They're nothing but ridiculous rumors. It's true. You know why I think so? Because I know who the departed is. What? Who the hell is it? It's too late now. I messed up. Departed hates me. 
I keep hearing a voice saying, Die, die, die in my head. Get a grip, Izumi. Why do I have to suffer like this? Shit! Fuck! Izumi's deeply perturbed. Voices aren't being through to him. Please, calm down. We need your cooperation so we can help you. Shut up! Shut up! Shut the hell up! I've got no fucking time left! I don't want to die! I'm gonna go to the music room and kill that Hanako bitch myself! Oh god, my fucking throat, holy shit. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, that was actually really good, but holy fuck, my throat. Oh, jeez. Oh, I felt like it really, that really came out well, from what I could tell, but holy shit, that killed my throat. <laughs> Give me a moment, I need some water after that, fuck. Oh. Alright. Zumi turns and runs back towards the old building. Zumi! By the music room. Does he mean the music room in the old building? Hold on. There's a music room there? Mm hmm? It's not used anymore, though. There's like some squelching noises going on here, too. I glance down at the general area where Izumi was standing and something catches my eye. Looks like a knuckle duster. Didn't see this in his hand earlier, though. Did it fall out of his pocket? Maybe he brought it for or maybe he brought it for self-defense, since he's frightened by the departed. Why don't you keep it, Yashiki? Sure, just in case. Okay, knuckle duster. The door to the old building is unlocked. Why is this still open? It should have been locked in the evening. Who cares about that right now? Let's go inside. Well, the structure is quite similar to the new building. It gives off an entirely different vibe. The wall is rained with mold and dust. Cobwebs are strung up here and there. Forget about clean. This place isn't even ventilated. <laughs> God, this place is so muggy. See the door open. After you, Yushiki. Set my hand toward the door. Huh? That's weird. I want it open. It can't be. door won't budge no matter how many times I try to open it. What in the world is happening? We're trapped in here. So this is a valid option. What happened, Yashiki? I'm not sure, but I can just kick the door down if push comes to shove. Finding Izumi is our top priority now. But you have a point. The locations of the rooms are the same as the new and old buildings. That means the music room is right beside us. The entrance door won't open. So, uh, here is a preface or uh, forewarning. There is going to be a issue here. Uh, a graphic image will be showing. I am going to. So this old building's a dark world. <laughs> Um, a little bit. So, I am going to... I'm going to... What was it? My mouse button is going to be ready to click the BRB real quick because I'm going to take a look at the image as soon as I can um, without, you know, having it on stream just to check and see how graphic the image is. But I did select... Um, what was it? I did select less for a gore level right now. So we're going to see just how sen censored it is. And we'll see from here on how, like, the difference in the gore level is. Because if I like that the gore level is less and it, like, has a good censorship there, 
then maybe I'll keep it. But if anyone asks to, um, like, if there's enough people asking to keep, like, the gore level at the normal level, then just let me know. Right now, I'm just want to. I'm just being cautious here. I want to. I want to make sure this can actually be viewable on YouTube. Played Hopkins FBI. I should be fine with gore. How's everyone else in the chat? Yeah, well, it's not so much for like everyone in chat that I'm specifically worrying about. It's more like YouTube itself because apparently YouTube does not like gore, um, especially uh, some graphic images that were a little uh, notable in the first game. So that's why I'm being cautious here. The old building's music room is just ahead. I hear a voice coming from inside when I walk toward the door. Uh, ah! Stay away from me! Stop right there! Somebody, help! Help! Hey, Yashiki! Let's go. And... Preparing for it. Oh, okay, that's what it looks like. So, uh, this is what it looks like for a uh, less gore image. Wow, they really do censor like the whole image by blurring the entire part of it out. Not even just like the gore part itself. Interesting. So I'm gonna do a quick <laughs> I'm gonna do I'm gonna show this off normally, real quick here. Just to show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like normally. Interesting. Huh. I don't know, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Also, <laughs> my hand! Immediately upon opening the door, we're greeted with a grisly sight. Filthy water shooting from a rubber hose has severed Izumi's left hand. The rubber hose is undulating in the air as if gravity holds no power over it. The filthy water is issuing forth from the hose. Is la or forth from the hose is lashing out with menace, like a whip cracking through air. There's no way a normal hose could contain a jet of water strong enough to dismember someone. It just doesn't make any sense. Yet, yeah, that's precisely what my eyes are telling me is happening. Yet, you don't have time to debate the possibility of the scene. You just gotta accept it. Just accept that this impossible phenomenon is real and caused by a haunting. Both the water and hose begin to coil up, growing taut with tension. Are they ready to hit him again? What are you doing, Izumi? Run! <laughs> Izumi turns around and I, when I yell at him. The water's next strike nearly misses him. A frantic Izumi rushes past me and out of the music room. The hose disappears into the darkness as if it pers is pursuing him. What the hell was that? I don't know myself. Let's just save that for later. Now we have... Huh? How do I hear the sound of dripping water? Why is there water in the music room? <laughs> oh no, now it's the old man getting take a rape boot! There he is. The hoses are wrapped around the headmaster's neck, as if they're trying to lift him up. <sighs> this cannot be. Descending from the dark ceiling, hoses from sna uh, have snagged the headmaster by his neck. They're coiled like snakes with murderous intent. <sighs> this keeps up. His life's in jeopardy. I need to get rid of these hoses immediately. Suspensive act! Do or die! The suspensive act will occur when encountering a special situation. By making the appropriate decision, you can drastically alter the outcome of the situation. Think of it as a moment of truth. 
Act one. There must be a tool I can use inside my bag. Where can I what can I do about the hoses constricting the headmaster's neck? We need to do something quick. Should I do it or choosing a character? During a suspensive act, you must first choose who is going to perform the action. Think carefully before making your decision. Well, considering this guy is being bound up and shit, I'm just going to take Yashiki. Yes. Alright, what can we- what do we do next? We can use an item in this situation, like... Choose the most appropriate item among the list of things Yashiki comes up with. Uh, well, this shit needs to get cut off, so... his knife. Mm. What do I do with this item, then? Gotta choose the most appropriate action in order to have the outcome I want. Using an action. Choose the most appropriate action from the list of things Yashiki comes up with. Your character needs to decide, have enough of spirit to execute the action. Each action have a different execution rate. This will be explained in detail later. First, choose the action you want to do. Uh, cut those. Alright, here I go. I doubt anyone will be able to keep it cool in this situation. Panicking through the pressure, those kinds of things can increase the chance of failure. During suspense of acts, not every action is doable. Each action has an execution rate that is based on the person performing the action. Your execution rate must be high enough for you to successfully perform the action. So this is where the stats come in, too. Now, let's try executing this action. Yeah. Using the knife, I try to cut the hose, lifting the headmaster. Ooh, success or failure, success or failure, it is a failure! Except my palms are so sweaty. I can make the joke. I accidentally dropped the knife. That master is unable to move. There must be a tool I can use inside my bag. I can't untangle the hose that wrapped around his neck and won't last, won't last much longer. Make it shaky again. No, his knife. Cut the hose. Gives me XCOM vibes. <laughs> Yosh. Using the knife, I try to cut the hose, lifting the headmaster. Do, do, am I, do I miss it this time, game? Do I miss it this time? Hmm? There you go. I cut the hose bit by bit. I think I could do it. The hose gradually rips apart. It finally breaks apart with a loud crack. I heard the server or sever the other hoses. The moment I finish cutting the last hose, my knife snap my knife snaps. Last Kanoe's knife. <sighs> Somehow I survived. That master has been freed from the hose's binding. Looks like this is the right choice. Correct and incorrect actions. The action you executed just now was correct. During the suspensive act, you need to successfully execute the correct action. In situations where you succeed at performing an action, you will but still fail to get your desired results, you should pick another option. You can also fail when you choose the wrong character. Try to choose the right character, the right person, and the right action. Survive! We've successfully broken through the tension of the suspensive act. In summary, you'll want to look for two main things when trying to get your desired outcome in a suspensive act. First, choose an action with a high execution rate. Second, choose the correct action. There are also times when a suspensive act will be a multi-part event. So the game tells you if you fail and people die is a skill issue. Partially, yeah. Uh, ah. <sighs> I can't believe I nearly hanged myself when we're not even in financial trouble. Hey, I'll bring bad luck. I'm glad you weren't injured. Huh. My luck has always been good. Let's chase after Yuzumi now. Ooh, that's a lot of blood. Shiki! Look at the floor. There's a trail of blood. 
Given the amount, this has to be Izumi's blood. The trail leads to the entrance to the old building, where there's a big puddle of blood. The door looks like it's been painted red, with blood smeared all over the handle and windows. Izumi tried to run outside, except the door was locked. Is it still locked now? Bring some strength into the door, I attempt to push it open. Unlike the previous time, the door opens without any resistance at all. There are no traces of blood to be seen outside. Izumi's still in the building. Judging by the amount of blood, Izumi's probably... Uh, <clears throat> one question though, Hishiki. Where is he? No idea, but... We should find him if we follow the trail. I turn my eyes down the corridor. Fresh, glistening blood extends deep into the darkness. Squelch. Our stairs leading up. We need to focus our attention on the first floor now. <laughs> the word annoying is written in red on the mirror. What are they referring to? This doesn't look like blood. The blood is dirty, it's obvious that it hasn't been cleaned for a while. This place is so dirty, it obviously hasn't been used in a long time. Nothing can be seen here. Hello? Google. There's a scribble in the wall. Suck at piano. Stop showing. Don't play the school song. There's a name written on it, but it's so faint and unreadable. Zabi is slander, or just like the stuff we found in the new building. I wonder who were their bullying? Speaking of piano, Zumi is a pianist. Does this have anything to do with him? I'm gonna look around and see if I get spooked. Cool. Never mind. Find a pale pink handkerchief on the ground. It's an elegant, expensive item. The initials NH are embroidered on the end. There's some ink on the cloth. A faint, irritating odor is coming from it. It smells like acidic detergent. I'm guessing it's a toilet cleaner. Did they try to erase the writing over there? I'm gonna be needing that. Leads to this toilet stall. Are you there, Izumi? There's no response. I think he's already. It's not locked. Did I? The master doesn't reply. Instead, he nods warily, a dazed look on his face. Grabbing the hand, they slowly push the door open. Uh. Well then, the blood leads inside the stall, yet there's no sign of Azumi. Uh, how can this be? Uh, this is absurd! The headmaster's plaintive query goes unanswered. I totally understand his feelings. However, no amount of point. Meow! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Welcome back. The janitor missed oh. the spot. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah, you missed a bit. Did he miss an entire dimension is what this looks like? Uh, we're in the old school. Uh, a kid got his hand cut off by water. Um, oh. Okay. The Everyone headmaster does. got tentacle rapeed by rubber hoses and I used no. his knife oh, to uh, cut him off from the ropes. The ropes, not the uh, hoses. Yamate. Yeah. Yamero! Yeah. Oh my god. Anyways. Where it tends to do that, cut people's hands off. Yeah, if it was from a jet. Anyways, um, yes. 
Let's examine this restroom. Thank you also for coming back. I need my I need someone to like take some of the lines from me because I, I only have like half an hour to I know. Go to work. <laughs> yeah, this is also where like he's got a long blood trail that ended up in this stall here. I'm down to do this one with you if you want to play in it though next time. Yeah. I find a fresh blood stain. Probably Azumi's, since he was just attacked by hoses. If he's lost that amount of blood, I doubt he's still alive. He lost an anime amount of blood. No oh, shit. All of a sudden, a shrill screams, or shrill scream, pierces the night. What was that? It came from the ha hallway. The hallway. Oh, um, right. So about this, that's what we're, what we're gonna see here. Um, like I said way early into this part of the stream, this game can be a lot like Corpse Party in that it can be pretty gruesome and got some graphic images. It's also like a uh, Corpse Party because it has some suggestive images. Okay. What was that sound? I hear some creaking from the hallway near the classrooms. Uh, what? What? Oh, what? Fucking Wario. A female voice. A hollow moan so faint it could disappear at any moment. This is a valid option. I was going from down the hallway. Okay, yep. No time to explore. You got him! Yabbity! Uh, you can tell from this alone. Oh. There it is. Oh, the leaking hose. The leaking hoses are really what does it. Yo, leaking hoses. They're leaking. It was that girl, Himiko Doryu. The sight before me was beyond comprehension. An otherworldly scene. Holy shit. The worse, the more you look at this, the worse it gets. Oh yeah, no. Oh, it's, it's sewage water. Ew. A girl drenched in sewage water is suspended by a bunch of rubber hoses. Lovely water and rubber hoses, just like the assault on Zumi. Countless hoses sway in the air. But of course, they're not going to do anything harmful to her. I've seen no Pentad know where this is going. Yeah, no, exactly. They look like venomous snakes arching their necks into sickles, intimidating their prey. I'm not... I'm not making those sounds. I'll do it. No. That's what she did. <laughs> Pain groans emerge from her lips. That's <laughs> what Stop. Damn, I had to hurry and save her. I extend my hand toward the hoses, trying to grab her. Another. Oh wait, never mind, we're good. At that moment, the hoses just disappear. She drops down onto the floor limply. But it's not just the hoses that have vanished. The yellow water that drenched her body and stained her blouse is completely gone too. Yeah, somehow, not just the rubber hoses, but also the water that stained her clothes. Just gone. Yep. I'm not saying that, Prism. I shut up. Oh, no traces remain. God. As if the entire scene we just witnessed was nothing but an illusion. Hey, are you alright? Silence is a valid option. Goryu doesn't respond. She's fainted. What on earth just happened? No time to question anything. Let's get her to the infirmary. Yep, fuck that one kid that's in dire need of uh, medical attention from losing his hand. No, nope, we're just picking up this girl. <laughs> but then again, she's like the one that they actually found and not him, so. Oh yes, the infirmary. That will be a safe place for them, for sure. Yep. Carry door you on my back and pick up your blazer from the floor. We're hurry to the infirmary. Probably the pink stuff. Once there, we lay her down on the bed. Though she's unconscious, her breathing is steady. 
You should be fine now. Let's continue our investigation. What's up? Your voice is cracking out. Hello? No! Hello? Is the stain clean power of OxyClean. Billy Mays here to tell you all about OxyClean. But I'm not finished yet. Hello, Warren, are you back now? A wall win. It's too laggy. Okay, alright. Holy hell. Yeah, it must be. It's holy shit. I'm not finished yet, or now you'll get your own set of questionably erotic garden hoses. Anyways. <laughs> I, I think it might have been Discord itself, because everything else was fine and it just randomly stopped. Yeah, okay, you're good. Yeah, because you were sounding choppy to me and I couldn't tell if it was me or you, but I guess it was my Discord. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's continue our investigation. We haven't found a Zoomy yet. Silence is a valid option. Mr. Conaway. Huh? Apologies. My mind is a bit fuzzy after those bizarre tentacle happenings one after another. Just wait here if it's too much for you. No, I cannot. I must protect the school, or else I'm going to bring shame upon my grandfather. He smiles weakly. It's obviously he's forcing it. He's propped up his resolve with a sense of responsibility to his grandfather, the founder of the school. Fine. Alright. Let's head to the old building. Say, Toshiki. Should we check the female restroom again? I pretty much looked through the every corner. But we still haven't found Izumi. You saw that trail of blood, right? He must be in there. Master yells hysterically. He's clearly <laughs> tense and overwhelmed. He's clearly reached his limit both mentally and physically. I've reached my limit both physically and mentally. Okay, we'll give the rest from another look. It's not like we have any other leads anyway. We pursued a student, Izumi, who's gone missing. I saw his name on a poster in the music room. He was badly hurt when we found him in the old building's music room. We went missing again after. We followed a trail of his blood and entered the girls' restroom where we found red graffiti and ink. Someone apparently scared him and he seemed to be running from them. Like I told me it had something to do with what was written on the notice. What actually happened in that restroom? We might be able to learn what caused Hanako the toilet to attack the zoom. We need to inspect the bloodstained door again. <coughs> Oh boy. Sounds like running water. So going to forewarn this. Um this is I can only forewarn as much as I can for the first chapter here. But um this is gonna be another really graphic image. It's not gonna be pretty. Alright. Where in the world is that coming from? I do have... It, it's still set to less. So I'm going to keep less on for now. And then I'm going to blend, like I'm going to like turn it off to normal um, in a moment for everyone who wants to see it. And then I'm going to turn it back. Alright. Yeah. That's what the sound was. Yep. Inside the stall, a male student is on the toilet seat. So I'm gonna turn this off real quick. In case anyone who's really curious, here's your warning. Look away until I say you can look. Here we go. Oh, there's a more. There's this is normal. There's a more though? No, there's no more. Okay. 
Because that's pretty Thanks. fucking gnarly. Yeah. Yeah, that's gnarly. Alright, changing that back. It is changed back. Alright. There you go. Yep. It's... A bundle of things are sprouting from his eyes. Slender rubber hoses. Those hoses and eyes didn't enter through his face, though. Oh yeah, no, they had to enter from somewhere. And it wasn't his mouth. They're spewing filthy water in every direction. I guess that explains the sound of running water. Between all the blood, the fallen eyeballs, and the hoses, I've been unable to tell what this poor kid looked like while he was still alive. Though there is one pretty obvious clue as to his identity. His left hand's missing. Is there a way to save him? Um... Nope. Got it. This I must be it. Toshihiko yeah. Izumi. His wide open mouth gives an idea of just how much pain he'd endured. He probably had his eyes pushed out from the inside by the hoses while he was still alive. Holy shit. Looking at the pool of blood this surrounding game. his body. Oh. Hmm? This game's like horribly gory. I did not expect that. Yeah, no, that's why I was like, mm, maybe I should keep this on less. Mm -hmm. Look at the pool of blood surrounding his body from the side of the wrist, though. The suffering and terror probably didn't last too long. Oh yeah, if you think this is bad, you should see the first game. There was, um... Uh, what is the fear of many holes? The phobia. Yeah. Oh, no. It had that, yeah, because in the second case, there was a bee man who would droll... Tryptophobia? Yeah. So he would be able to... He, like, he was a ghost that um, would drill holes into people. And he mm. would uh, use those holes that he drilled into people to then make people into beehives. So you have beehive ah. people. Yeah. Ah. Who, now it's just a matter of what the fuck is going to be happening in this game, because as far as I know, I, I only know of this one so far. That is all I know. Jesus. That's about the only bit of luck he had tonight. What's wrong, Gishiki? What in the world is in there? Ugh. The headmaster screams and bolts out of the restroom. I guess that's finally what pushed him past the edge of sanity. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, no. Unless I can't blame him. I'm too shocked to think straight myself. Better get out of this restroom first. Return to the infirmary and come up with a plan. I walk toward the exit, legs trembling. <gasps> huh? I, I can't lift my legs. Something is tangled around my ankle. A long, thin, elastic blue something. It's the rubber hose. Hey, what's up? I look into the mirror and see something swaying. What is that? Person? It's a girl in a white shirt and a red suspender skirt. Her limbs blackened. She looks dead, swaying from side to side. This is... I don't go to the toilet. Hoses crawl up around my waist and to my chest, all the way around my neck. Damn. Hey, look, it's the least suggestive image so far. Because that would be. I don't mind. I'm just gonna. Never mind. Yeah. I can't move my limbs. Even my mouth is bound. I'll be killed at this rate. Shit! As if I just let that happen. My arm's the only thing I can somewhat move at the moment. Suspensive act! Act 1. The graffiti! So cruel! 
kill the one who wrote it. The words spewing out of her mouth are filled with rage. Look at she thinks I was the one who wrote that thing in the mirror. Did you have the marker? The hoses are constricting me tighter. If I don't do something, I'll die here. There must be something in my bag that I can use to survive. Clues for the correct action. Clues for the correct action are hidden within stories, item details, spirit file, and other bits of collected information. Incorrect action choices can also give you some insight and help narrow down your options. Then carefully, around the truth, choose the correct action. So I'm going to use the dirty handkerchief and wipe off the graffiti. <laughs> Pull the dirty handkerchief from my bag and extend my hand towards the mirror. Ooh, am I gonna succeed? Mm, I'm gonna fail. Success. I might be able to clear up the misunderstanding by wiping off the writing in the handkerchief. Stretch my strange handkerchief toward the mirror. Then I wipe off the word annoying. I was binding my shoulders loosened slightly. Did that clear up the mis misunderstanding? I might have managed to convince her that I'm not a bad person by erasing those possible words. It looks like this was the right choice. I feel like I can move my arm a bit more now. Use the red graffiti. Use the marker to write more graffiti. Not bully? What did she mean by not bully? Was this girl bullied in the past? Ugh. I don't know. Who am I? Did she just say, who am I? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! You're an owl. The girl screams out loud. <laughs> the hose cinches tight around my body. Shit! What do I do now? The girl seems pissed because she doesn't know who she is. Guess I need to tell her that next. Use the red marker. Red. Right, I'm gonna go with eye on the mirror. I stretch my hand toward the mirror and try to write Hanako Akai with the red marker. Success! Exert maximum effort and somehow manage to get the mark close to the mirror. We can writing. Anako Akai. It's the name of the female pianist written on the poster. Doryu said she is Anako the Toilet. Though she was probably referring to the classic urban legend of Anako the Toilet and not this school's Anako. The girl who was bullied might be Hanako Akai. Hanako Akai! My name... The hose binding me finally loosens. Assume she remembers her name now. You are... different. The girl then disappears into the darkness. Makes me wonder if Hanako the Toilet forgives me now that she's pulled herself together. Looks like this is the right choice. Survived! Nice. What the heck? Once Hanako's presence is gone, the restroom changes completely. There's no trace of the hose nor the blood, as if nothing foul ever happened here. Wait. No way! Masaka. Nani? Azumi's corpse is no longer in the stall. No one is inside. Even the hoses and the water are gone. Same as what happened with Doryu. It's as if everything was only a nightmare. And that means you lost any evidence of this incident. The only thing remaining is the fact that a student named Toshiki Toshihiko Izumi has disappeared. The cops will probably just treat him as one of the thousands of missing people. Exactly as they did with the student mentioned in the first notes. In this case, cops will be useless. 
What should I do? Better go back to the infirmary first. The headmaster may, be re may have returned there. After talking with him, we can decide what we should do next. Like his origin. We found Azumi's mingled corpse in the girls' restroom. We'd been brutally murdered, or he'd been brutally murdered. Now we. Right after that, we encountered a female spirit with murderous intent. Due to her resemblance to Hanako the toilet, we thought she was the spirit from the notice. After we survived her attack, we learned her name was Hanako Akai. Seems Hanako was bullied in the past. Maybe the real reason she became a spirit was tied to the bullying. Azumi's death may be point to that. May point to that. Unfortunately, his corpse has disappeared without a trace. It seems like I've got some fear-filled days ahead of me. Returning to the infirmary. Pressing LB will quickly return you to the infirmary. But there will be times in the game where you can't do that. Return to- <laughs> The game's like, RETURN TO THE INFIRMARY NOW! Return to the infirmary now! That master's indeed in the infirmary. He's talking with Doryu. You should tell him what happened. I'm gonna make another save here, actually, since there's now two things I can go to, to, uh, kind of show off what could potentially happen to me if I were to fuck up. Yeah. And we're actually near the end of the chapter here, so I can show this off in a moment. You're back, Yoshiki. Sorry about earlier. I was so shocked I ran before, away before I knew it was happening. Right. Ah, yes. Dory's looking up. I told her about you and how you saved her life. Come on, Dory, you Thank the gentleman. Thank you, Mr. Yashiki. Feeling better now? Yeah, more or less. Um, how about Izumi? Oh, well... Looks like the headmaster hasn't broken the news to her. I'm like concerned about her mental state. There's something I want to ask her, though. I can't hide it forever. Alright? Let me tell you all the things I've gone through tonight. The murder is you! And that's it. it. Must be hard to swallow, I know, but you're gonna have to believe me. It can't be. Is who he's been murdered? Where you sinks into silence after that. It's incredible that you've survived encounters like you. Yeah. It's incredible that you've survived encounters like this against vicious spirits before, Yoshi. I hope you'll forgive me, but I found you to be quite dubious before. But I guess I made the right choice by asking for you. You saved us. You saved us. He looks at me, a faint, tired smile settling on his lips. Zumi's been killed, just as the nose said. Doryu murmurs quietly. If you get too curious about the Departed's true identity, you'll be targeted and killed by them. That rumor seems to be true after all. Her voice trembles slightly. Is she shocked by the death of her friend? Or is she scared of the Departed? Seeing her tremble, yes. I... I reassure her. There is indeed something in this school. Don't worry, the headmaster and I are both here. I know. Thank you for everything. Excuse me! The young girl enters the room all of a sudden. Her hair is dyed white, which begs the question, does this school Can really- can we do this one? Sure. Does the school have really lax guidelines on appearance? Mitsuketa. Mitsuketa. There you are, Hime. I've been looking for you. Did you find Izumi? Silence is a valid option. What? What's wrong, Hime? Who are you? I am Michicho Kunukawa, the student counselor's vice president and Hime's friend. Both of you should really go home. It's late already. 
we'll do something about these meetings. Understood. Well, let's go home, Ichiho. Okay. Guess that's it for tonight. And Master and Dory, you probably don't want to tell Michiho about what happened to Izumi. Oh, oh. Let me drive you home. I wouldn't be able to look your parents in the eye if something were to happen to you. There's no need for that. We both live in the dorm. It's only a minute from here. Oh no, we broke curfew though. The dorm manager's gonna scold us real bad. I'll let them know that. Be careful on your way home. We'll be going then. Dorio bids us farewell and leaves with Michio. You must be tired too, Yoshiki. Go home. I'll call you again later to talk about the case. Mr. Konoe. I want some time alone now. Please, go home. Did Bro, you get the fuck out of that building, what do you mean? <laughs> right. The character Michiho Kunikawa has been added to the character file. Guess I'll head back. My car is parked in the lot near the main gate. And when I exit the special building, the door locks behind me. I walk toward the shoe lockers, figuring I can leave that way. They don't take their damn shoes off at school. Oh, they have shoe schools. That's right. They have yeah, like inside shoes. They have like outside shoes and inside shoes. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Just then, I spot a piece of paper on the floor. I wasn't here earlier. Short sense in red letters is written on it. That's probably why they have like they keep their floors pretty clean, you know, because they have the they spot their shoes, you know. Yeah. Dear visitor. I'll be waiting for you in the corridor. Yours truly, the departed. But this is... I... Visitor, do they mean me? Are they... They say they'd be waiting in the connecting corridor. I may be able to get closer to learning the departed's true identity if I go. Except that's no different than running into the jaws of death. I can still turn my back on my fears and run away. All I have to do is go outside to the exit by the shoe lockers. But the question is, should I face my fear, or should I avoid it? In that case... I'm gonna go face my fears. I'm gonna I'm... burn my dread... Jump, 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 jump. Jump in the cack. Bell ringing hurts my ears! Where's this bell sound coming from? Ugh, my head. Moment. What the fuck is that? A moment. Strange figure is standing in the darkness. A lanky, slender body with a naturally big head. Oh, it's got like a leotard look. Is that actually a girl? No way. That's the departed. Is this their laughter I hear right now? It's like their sights on me. Are they. Laughing? I can feel the warmth of my body slowly leaving just from the s them staring at me. This keeps up. I'm in serious danger. I've got to escape right here, right now. But I, I... I can't. I'm petrified. My legs won't even tremble. Oh, the gun. The departed vanishes suddenly. Did I make it? Nope. 
There's bugs. No, they're behind me. Yeah. On this wonderful day, let us exchange vows with one another. Faint crackling voice echoes in my mind. I swear to always stay by your side forever and ever. What are you saying? Say, my dear. Can I bite you? Damn. Chapter one, the departed and finished it. Yay. Yay. Do progress? Sure. Okay, so I am now going to go back to the moments where I could fuck up and I'm gonna fuck up to show what they look like. Is there a way for him to actually die from this? I'm actually curious. I was like, I'm literally trying to get him to die, but I'm curious. Oh, actually, oh. Oh, maybe they're making this one like fail safe. Like, like you can't fail this yes. one because it's the first one. Yeah, that might be it. So I'm pretty sure I can die here. So let's figure. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. Fold a paper crane. Oh, that's funny. Fold a paper crane. I gotta. I gotta fold the paper crane. Oh my god, a 5% chance of failing it. Looks like she thinks I'm the one must be in my bag. Uh, Dirty Handkerchief, uh, put in front of Hose. I am dead. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she has run out of spirit. <laughs> Investigation ended in failure. Oh no. Ah, uh, is it? What happened to Yashiki? Game over. Well, I wasn't too specific about it, but oh well, that's fine. Mm hmm. So I could just leave, and I'm going to do it this time. Fuck that noise, mm. I'm out. Go outside. <laughs> Those who flee from the departed's terror have no right to pursue this case. Not only that, do I really want to go outside? Go outside. Said leave Colonel Hunter. Okay. Bye! <laughs> Just. Next day, I get a call from the headmaster. Tell him I can't continue the investigation. Despite his desperate pleas, I ignore him and hang up the phone. He was quite a dick. I have no idea how the departed case ends. If I turn my back on the incident, I don't think I have any right to know. Really? <laughs> he really was just like, if I turn back now, I may as well just give up the unexpected investigation. <laughs> like, okay, dude, you could just say, no, I'm not going to take a threat from a literal, like, from the spirit that's killing everyone here. Maybe I want to continue the investigation. All right, see you, Warren. Maybe I want to continue the investigation, but not put my life at risk in this very moment. But he's like, nah, if I leave now, now that I got challenged by the spirit that is known to get people killed and their bodies disappear, maybe I should do this or else I'm, I'm no good. I, I can't investigate. Anyways.